911, the address of your emergency. Okay, and the phone number you're calling from. Tell me exactly what's happened. I just had a 12-year-old boy show up here at my front door asking for help. And he uh, said he had just came from a neighbor's house, and we know there's been problems at this neighbor's house. He's emaciated. He's got tape around his legs. He's hungry, and he's thirsty. Okay. Is, he, is your door locked? No, I'm sitting outside with him on the, on the front patio. Okay, cool. And he asked us to call the police. What's so he's name? very afraid. What's your last name? He's 12 years old. Yes. Okay. And can you ask him his date of birth? Can you tell me your birthday? Okay, and um, is are the neighbors out of their home, or is anybody looking for them that you can see? Uh, no. We are homes are far enough away. Uh, I'm not sure. How did you get out of the house? Uh, Orange. He went out. He says he just left through the porch at the neighbor's house. Um, her name is Jody Hildebrand. And she lives two doors up the street. Yeah, out here in Cayenne, the houses are far apart. So he walked just under the block to get to our house. He, he rang my doorbell and asked me to call the police. Does he seem to be under the influence of drugs or alcohol? I don't think so, but he's very thirsty. and. Uh, need an ambulance? I don't think he needs an ambulance. I'll let the cops decide that, but his ankles are taped up, and he won't tell us why. Okay. But he has duct tape around each ankle. Yeah, there's sores around him. I think the, there's a good chance he's been... Uh, he also said, oh, and he has them around his ankles. I mean, his wrists as well. Okay, this boy has been... <laughs> he needs... <laughs> this kid has obviously been... I think he's been he's been detained. He's been he's obviously covered in wounds. Okay. Let's get the paramedics headed over that way, okay? Oh, that's a good idea too. Let's see. Um has he told you where his mom or dad are? I haven't asked him that. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Don't worry, Mommy. I really got Yeah, I'm sure that that doesn't matter, son. Do you know where your mom and dad are? Well, actually, I don't know where my mom is, but I do know where my dad is. He's not anywhere here. No, 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 nowhere here. Okay. No, he doesn't seem to. He says he knows where his mom is, but uh, um, he doesn't know where his dad is. That's correct. Is his mom home? He, doesn't live he just says he doesn't live around here. Okay. Is his mom yeah, in area? And is your mom around here? Have you seen her lately? He doesn't know where she is right now. Does he know his mom's name? What's your mom's name? Ruby Frankie. Ruby Frankie is his mom's name. Okay. How do you spell the last name? F R A N K E. F R A N K E. Okay. And does she live in the area? No, I'm not sure where she lives. He's uh, he's trying to help us, but he's That's okay. We don't want to stress him out too much. The officers will go over all these questions with him anyway. I just want to stay on the phone with you until we get some help there, okay? Yeah, yeah. 
What's your name? My name is. Um, can you ask him if any other children were in the home he came from? Okay. Um, was there any other kids up at Jody's house? Besides. Anybody else? No, I, I was. Uh, yeah, this is the 30th of, uh, or excuse me, the 29th of August. It'll be the 30th of August. Today. 10 and 14, and they're, they're still at this house. Ask, um, are they tied up as well? Um, what's the uh, deal with, are they, um, are, are they being held? Are they... Do they, do they have wounds on them as well? Nothing bad going on with them. Okay. Okay. So they're they're able to walk around the house and everything. And, well, okay. He says everything's fine with them. Grain of salt. Okay. He says he uh, what's happened to him is his fault. That's not a problem. That's sad to hear. They're coming to you as quick as they can, okay? Okay, yeah. Really yeah he's, I just want to make sure. He's fine. If I got him sitting here, my wife, he got him water and something to, giving him something to eat because he's really, he's hungry and uh, I think they're young, Ben. He's, he's hearing his stocking feet. <laughs> Uh, so he he escaped. <laughs> well, I'm glad that he was able to make it to you so he could be safe. They should just be pulling up now. Let me know when they're with you, okay? Will do. I hear a car, but they're not coming on the driveway. You did good. Enjoy that banana, okay? Hmm. Yeah, he, he just did the right thing. A few seconds ago, so he might be waiting for his partner. I'm not sure. Is Jody up there right now? Yeah. Okay. Jody Hildebrand is up there right now. Okay. So she may come looking for him here soon, but uh, she's not going to, obviously. All right, we need the cops here as soon as possible. I'm just asking where he is now. Yeah, she's a, uh, she's a bad lady. We didn't realize how bad. asking where he is. Well, it sounds like he's making a phone call real quick um, to his sergeant. He is going to head up. Okay. All right. Well, if we have to take him inside the house, we will. I'm just, we're just sitting outside right now because we have chairs out here and it was convenient. That's okay. Um, if anything, he's sitting out down your driveway and keeping an eye on the house. So if that's where you feel safe, that's where the child feels safe, then let's just stay where you're at. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're doing this. Yes. Does he have anything with him? But, uh, no, he's wearing a long sleeve shirt and shorts, and uh, 
it's uh, way too big for him. Um, Can you tell me um, what color the shirt and shirt Okay, the, uh, the ambulance is here. Okay. So. Are they with you? No, they're, they're just not getting out of the truck. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and I'll let you go then. You did a great job. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Bye.